A few months ago, Facebook changed their name to Meta. Why? Because they're going to make a bet the company style investment in the metaverse. They believe that this is where the whole world is going. So we're going to live in these digital worlds. Facebook created one called Horizon Worlds. And in that, they're going to allow their users to actually buy and sell virtual goods. Now, this sounds like a pretty cool idea. And maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. I'm not really sure. But one thing I do know is that Facebook, simultaneous to their investment in the metaverse, has been under a ton of competitive pressure. There's been this epic battle fighting out between Facebook and Apple as one example. Apple continues to introduce all sorts of privacy features that make it harder for Facebook to actually conduct their advertising business inside of the Facebook ecosystem. At the same exact time that that's happening, Facebook continues to yell and scream about Apple's 30% transaction fee in the Apple App Store. And so now all of a sudden, after Facebook has promised that their transaction fees will be lower than Apple's and their promise to creators that they'll help them make more money, we're starting to get a look at some of the math. And what we see is inside of the Quest store, Facebook's planning a 30% transaction fee, matching exactly what Apple does. But on top of that, if somebody is to sell a virtual good inside of the Horizon World's metaverse, there could be up to a 25% charge on top of the 30% one, which means that actually Facebook in some cases could be taking up to 50% of transactions. According to the New York Post, this stuff is still up for debate. And maybe Facebook will change it, Maybe they won't, but if you change your name from Facebook to Meta and you're gonna make a big bet, my guess is that you're actually gonna have to reduce the transaction fees, not increase them. Because ultimately Facebook is having a crisis right now. Their entire business is reliant on the users coming back. And they're also gonna have to convince a brand new cohort of users to enter into the metaverse. They don't have any of those users and neither does anybody else. But if the metaverse is gonna be a thing and Facebook believes they can be at the forefront of it, they're gonna have to treat people much better. A 50% transaction fee would be absolutely insane. I think that there is 0% chance that they'll be able to do this in the steady state. Maybe it's just the initial transaction fee and they bring it down. Or maybe there's so much pushback and negative feedback that they change it before they ever even launch. All I know is that if you wanna build a metaverse, you have to reduce the friction for people to actually go ahead and adopt this technology. You can't simply have high transaction fees, make them buy a headset, also not have them be familiar with the technology and just think that magically they're gonna be metaverse users. For me personally, sure, there might be some use cases for the metaverse, but if a friend's in town, I wanna to go meet them in person for dinner, but maybe I wanna actually train for a business or I wanna actually have some sort of experience via this digital virtual world. That's all on the table, but not with 50% transaction fees. So let's pay attention, let's see what happens here. But a 50% transaction fee is absurd. Now, I don't think there's any way Facebook will actually roll this out and keep it at 50% or their entire business will be at risk. Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, like the video and see you next time.